Before I even talk about how this thing sounds, which I'm going to do in another video here pretty soon, this is the Galleon TS120 SE. It was sent over by Thomas from Thomas and Stereo. Shout out to Thomas. I need to show you guys a couple of features on the amplifier that are really intuitive. I don't think that I've ever seen anything quite like this on a tube amplifier, and I'm digging it. And so I want to show you this. It's unusual. It's not what you typically see or get. And let's get into it. I will be following up with how I think this thing sounds, but there's two reasons that I'm not going to be doing that today. Number one, I want to make Thomas wait. <laughs> That's, I mean, I have to, I'm, I'm going to make him sweat it out a little bit. Number two is I honestly don't know for sure yet. I'm... And what I mean by that, that's not a positive or a negative. I just haven't spent enough time with the amplifier to really sink my teeth into it and figure out what the heck is going on. I have listened to it. I have taken some, you know, quick little notes here and there. But what captivated me right out of the gate is the brilliance of what I'm about to show you. So let's go. On the front panel over here on the left hand side, we have a standby switch. Now this is obviously to turn on the amplifier and I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. A lot of the stuff that we're going to be talking about, really you would want the amplifier to warm up for a solid 15 minutes before making any of these changes. I've been listening to the amplifier all morning so we're good to go. Either way, standby is turned on. You can see that it's blinking. Power tubes and preamp tubes are all starting to light up. And then we have the confirmation of a solid blue LED showing the amplifier is ready, you know, to be played. This is where things get interesting. The next button over next to standby is a button that says change. And then to the right of that, we have another button that says bias. And then to the right of that, we have another button that says class. And then above it, we have two little LED indicators, one for A and then one for AB. To the right of that, we have four little LEDs marked one, two, three, four, and above it, it says tube. These LEDs are representing the four power tubes on the Galleon TS-120. Uh, this is the you know special edition, but the same thing applies for the regular TS-120. Obviously we have a volume control, and then to the right of that, we have um, tone controls. We have bass, and then we have treble. And then to the right of that, we have a three-way switch labeled sound, and there is A, T, and B. In the event where you wanna listen to um, the amplifier with the tone controls engaged or a part of the circuit, you simply select T and then you're off to the races. You can go ahead and adjust this to your liking. With A and with B, the tone controls and the circuit of the tone controls are defeated. That was a brilliant move to make because some audiophiles are purists and they're gonna say, I don't care about tone controls, leave them out of the circuit altogether. And with A and with B, that's exactly what's happening. The difference between A and B has to do with the amount of negative feedback that is applied to the audio circuit. And I'm not familiar enough with the amplifier to know which one is which, so forgive me. I'm just letting you know A and B are going to sound different because of the amount of negative feedback that is applied to the audio circuit. And when we get to the official review, I'll discuss this in great detail and explain what's what. To the right of that, we have the four single-ended inputs, and then we also have a home theater bypass, which is pretty cool, and you don't see that on tube amplifiers a whole lot. Um, let's get back to this guy, the right, hand, the left-hand side, excuse me, because this is what I wanted to focus on in today's video. This button, as I mentioned, is called change, or labeled as change, and the way that I remember it is any time that I want to change how the amplifier functions, I must remember that a bias adjustment is in order. Now that can be, you know, that can be the case if you're changing it from class A to class AB, because obviously there's an 
increase in, in wattage and power going from class A to class AB. And so in order to do that, because these transformers are about to do some backflips for us, we have to click on this change button. The same thing is um, applies when it comes to just simply turning the amplifier on and you just need to bias the amplifier. So I'm gonna walk you through the procedure. I'm gonna show you how brilliant this actually is. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on change. And as you can see right here, our little LEDs for the tubes have lit up and the volume control light begins to blink. It means that we're now in a setting mode of the amplifier, right? We're about to change something and this little blinking LED lets us know, you're not gonna hear music right now, dude, because you clicked on change. What's more important to notice is, uh-oh, tube number two is red, one, three, and four, one, three, and four are blue. What this is telling you, that currently we're in obviously class A, but the same could be said if we we're in class A, B, which we'll do next, but it's letting you know, hey, something's not right. You need to bias the amplifier so we can fix what's going on with tube number two. How do you do that? Bust out the screwdrivers, you know, turn little potentiometer knobs that are teeny tiny. No, no. You click on bias, and then one by one, it goes through every single power tube, and these little LEDs will begin to light up blue. They're all lit up blue now, meaning the adjustment is done and all you have to do is wait for this bias LED, which is blue, right there, to turn off. This is still blinking, letting you know, hey man, you're still in change mode. Click on change, and you're ready to listen to music, just like that. Same process, same concept in the event where you wanna go from class A to class AB. Like I said before, you're gonna have a dramatic change in wattage, and so the tubes would have to be biased in order to make that happen. And so we're gonna make a change to how the amplifier works. So we're gonna click on change. All of the tube lights are gonna light up. We just biased it, so I would expect that they're all blue and they are. And then we're gonna change class. So right now we're in class A. We're gonna to go to class B. Uh-oh, these are all red. No big deal, we expected that. So we're gonna go ahead and click on bias. And then just like before, and this takes a little bit longer because we're making some big changes in, in wattage right now. But as you can see, sure enough, one by one, this amplifier auto adjusts every single one of those tubes for you. They're all lit up blue. We're gonna wait for the bias light to turn off. Oh, it's making more adjustments. Probably just fine tuning is what I'm assuming. There we go. Bias light turned off. We're good to go. Click on change. We're now in class AB. This is really cool. I, I gotta, I just gotta give props. I mean, that is, that is nice. And I think that there are many audiophiles out there that might be intimidated by even just the concept or the idea of biasing. It's not hard, but man, this, this makes it easy peasy. And that's not all, folks. This is where things get really freaking cool. Every, everything that we just did, changing the bias, changing the class, can be done on the remote of the Galleon amplifier. And this ain't plastic. She's heavy. I mean, I, I gotta say, super impressive. Well done, Thomas. This is bad to the bone. Everybody on the planet already knows that, you know, the birth of the Galleon amplifier started with the Dodge amplifiers. And I don't know if those Dodge amplifiers have the exact same feature set as what we're seeing here. If they do, it's brilliant. It's fantastic. I dig it. I love it. And I'm really impressed with just that feature set alone. And in the upcoming videos, which I'll be doing shortly, we'll be doing first impressions. I'll try to get some sound clips with commentary for you. And we have a ton of killer tube amplifiers. We can do some shootouts and some comparisons and then walk you guys through 
you know, what I'm hearing and what the differences are between all of these different tube amps that I have in for review. And with that, I'll see you tube loving audiophiles in the next video.